lalagay tayo ng konti sa cut so ayan yung kulay puti guys so that's how it looks like just like how you put the cinnamon powder kaso medyo Hey guys, welcome back to another Planzilla video. For today's vlog, our plans are temporarily arranged this way. Hindi pa po talaga kami tapos, but since we were trying to find a way na maging okay sila, so here they are. And I am trying to order some net on Shopee. Unfortunately, supported something pa din kami. So, couriers aren't available here in Bohol after Bagyo. And a lot of those who ordered from online shops like Shopee and Lazada, hindi pa din deliver up until now. Na-cancel na nga siguro yung iba. So, yun yung problema. That's why ganito pa din yung itsura and super init pa din dito sa area na to. So, eto muna sila ngayon guys and we are hoping that they will be fine. So, today we will be showing you another propagation video since medyo matagal-tagal kami na hindi nakapag-propagate ng mga plants. So, meron tayong ipapropagate today and if you are interested, just keep watching. But before that, please don't forget to subscribe, tap the notification bell para ma-notify kayo pag may bago kaming video. And if you are ready, let's begin! Alright guys, we will be propagating our babies today and the baby red diamond of course including the baby birkin ito guys not showing those pinstripe variegation pa because as i told you kapag baby normal talaga so do not worry too much if you think your birkin is reverting kasi once they grow old they grow mature and they'll have more leaves eventually they will come back to its natural color with those pinstripe variegations just like those so Diba? So, they started out like this lang din yung dahon. Claro ba? Baka masyadong maliwanag. Natural lighting kasi nga, nasa labas kami and the only shade that we have is the net. I hope makabalik na yung mga core gears sa pagdi-deliver para hindi na unsupported yung delivery address namin dito. I used to have no problem when it comes to checking out my orders online. It's just that ngayon talaga, sobrang hira. We will be uprooting our baby Birkin, guys, to see the roots down there. Kasi we haven't checked it. This will be our third time propagating. Already na nga pala siya. Okay. So, uproot natin, guys. Anyway, if you're not comfortable uprooting your entire plant, before propagating it, then it's really up to you. Pero ito guys, nag-work sa amin kasi somewhat like gusto din namin i-renew yung mother plant. Oh! Alright. Ayan, yan yung itsura. Madami na din pala siyang roots. Birkin is quite sensitive guys, but once you already know how to take care of it, definitely it will thrive and maraming healthy roots guys. And I don't think there is any sign of damage and attacks on it so we are good for this baby Birkin guys mapapropagate natin to ngayon well this baby red diamond guys is quite affected dun sa bagyo kasi makikita nyo yung pinakabagong dahon niya naputol sa dulo so kawawa naman siya but this has to be propagated even if that leaf hasn't opened kasi magkakaroon din yan ng bago guys we are aiming to have a new leaf for this one. Kawawa, just like any other plants here that were really affected during those grabbing mga paghangin and pagulan. So most of them are having tips like that. And I've also heard about those garden owners na nasa mga towns na directly na hit ng bagyo 
Parang yung iba, wala na ngang plants na natira. And if meron man, kalbo na lahat. This is what we will be using, guys. As a replacement of that cinnamon powder. You can also use this whenever you are cutting your philodendrons or you're cutting your plants. You can directly put some powder on the cut para mag-heal ka agad yung sugat, guys. And of course, to prevent fungal attacks. So, that is it. I do not know what's the exact brand, but it says AFS Organic Fungicide. So, dami ng roots na nakikita ko sa kanya. I'm not even sure how many roots will stay with the mother plant. And kung ilang roots din yung madadala niya once we propagate it. So, and he will be cutting it. He said maybe four roots will be with this one. So, nawala din yung kutsilyo na pangkat namin, guys. Baka inanod. So, we are using a different one for today. And on the previous propagation after bagyo. So, medyo yung iba kasi naka-twirl sa body ng mother plant. That's why we cannot see kung anong itsura ng mga roots na matadala natin. Oh! Ayan. Yan yung itsura ng roots niya. Ito na may ladyan ako. Huh? Kaya na. Right. So, eto guys, yung mga nakadikit dito, hindi na namin aalisin para at home pa din siya, hopefully. Tapos, madami naman siyang new roots na nagsilabasan. Lalagyan lang namin itong fungicide, itong cut niya, tapos it's good to go na. Wow! So, dyan muna siya. So, we're done with the perkin. Lipat naman tayo sa isa. Alright. So, sabay-sabay na natin siyang itanim. Magkakat muna tayo ng dalawa. Dalawang magkaibang philodendron to guys. This one is mostly like green. Kasi nga more on green and white yung Birkin. But this one, pag lumalaki talaga yung green diamond guys, you really can't see the difference dun sa Red Congo. I don't know for those of you na hustler na when it comes to differentiating philodendrons. Pero... Ako, whenever I see them, ngayon nga, yung mga na-propagate namin na almost of the same size na, hindi ko na makilala kung ano yung red Congo and red diamond. So, this one guys, doesn't need to be uprooted kasi nakita na naman niya kung saan ikakat. Ayan, konting-konti lang, nakadikit lang siya ng konti. So, it's been a while since the last time that I've been checking this out kasi, ayan o, oh, medyo mapula-pula yung stem niya. So, this is it guys. So, hindi na to na-uproot. Dalawa lang yung root niya pero sasanga-sanga naman. So, hindi na kami masyadong nag-worry dyan. And we are using soilless potting media. So, magta-thrive lang din yan. Just like any other propagations that we did before. Yung mga medyo sensitive lang talaga, hinahanapan talaga namin ng way na more than three roots before propagating. But if you are a beginner and you just started out propagating your plant babies, please do wait for three or more roots to come out para sure ka na madaming roots na susuporta sa kanya once nag-grow. So... Nilagay na muna namin dyan para hindi masyadong stressed while nagpe-prepare siya. Coconut fiber yung nakalagay sa ilalim. Tapos, that's the other pot. Ayan. That will be for the red diamond and this one is for the Birkin. Lalagay tayo ng konti sa cut. So, ayan. Yung kulay puti guys. So, that's how it looks like. Just like how you put the cinnamon powder. Kaso, medyo white siya or parang beige. I do not know kung anong kulay siya nakikita sa camera. But, ayan, medyo white yung kulay niya, guys. The last time, we don't have that dried Miluna fiber, but now it's back. Kasi meron na kami dito. Ayan. So, that's what he will use to wrap it before we will plant it. Sobrang dali lang. Just be careful. Lalo na if it's your first time propagating Birkin. Kasi yung iba talaga nadadown. Because hindi siya gaganda agad after ma-propagate guys. So you really need to wait for it to recover. Yung iba naubusan pa nga ng dahon. But it will really thrive guys as long as you are taking care of it. Hindi mo siya pinapainitan. You are not exposing it to direct sunlight. And hindi mo naman siya palaging dinidiligan. Of course, minimal lang. And, eto nga, soilless yung potting media na gamit namin. So, that's what we have here. 
Nagustuhan naman siya ng mga plants namin, guys. So, we keep on using it. Yung kapatid nito. O, oh, yung mga kapatid nito, as I have shown you earlier, sila yon. So, nakapag-propagate kami. We already have two. And yung nakita nyo pinagdikitan kanina is yung mother nila. So, this is the third baby of that perkin. No matter how alien the mother plant looks like, nakapag-produce siya ng mga magagandang babies. Wala na kaming ibang pot. We have small pots here, but are too small for this. So, we opted for this one. But if you have a choice, guys, if you are propagating something small, use a smaller pot also. Para makapag-focus yung nutrients sa kanya. And makatubo siya ng maayos. Because we have proven na yung mga pots na nakalagay talaga sa pots na appropriate lang dun sa size ng plant na tinatanim can really grow well. Mainit na talaga dito, guys. So, sana makabili na kami ng net. Shopee, baka naman. This is how the potting media looks like up close. Again, do not worry if wala masyadong variegations because that's normal for baby birkins. They will have new leaves when they grow mature and do na lalabas yung pinstripe variegation because most of us are really drawn into birkins just because of the color of the leaves that we see. So yung iba na disappoint whenever they see green leaves coming out from the birkin. So, I've been there, na, na feel ko din yun. But since we have grown more than one Birkin here and nakapag-propagate na din kami, so we learned that it's really normal and things will come back to how they are. So guys, that is it for the Birkin. Sobrang dali lang. Ayan, ito yung final itsura niya. Tapos, we will be moving on to the red diamond right after this one. Hopefully, this will thrive after all that it has been through. Then sa bagyo. Sobrang baby pa niya guys. Nung mga time na yun na palaging umuulan. Tapos, tumaan pa yung bagyo. Kawawa naman. Alright. So that's it. So abang liit lang ng sugat niya kasi maliit pa nga yung body niya. But according to Gerald, yung ganitong type of philodendrons guys are in really hard to grow. Kasi hindi naman sila maarte. Hindi maselan guys. Unlike those other philodendrons, mas maselan pa yung break-in kesa dito. So we've got high hopes for this one. And do not worry, I will be updating you how they will look like in the future pag naka-recover na. Kasi I will be giving it away. Pero hindi ko na muna sasabihin sa kung sino. So, definitely before I will give it out, minimake sure kasi namin na pag may binibigay kami, buhay na talaga before we release it. So, ma-update ko kayo how it will look like in the future. So, that is it. Super liit lang ng pot niya. That's the small one that we found. Apart from this, check din niya daw yung Jose Bono. Baka pwede nang ma-propagate. Ayan, super cute niya. And this pot is really perfect for the size of this baby. So, makikita nyo naman. Kasyang-kasya lang. And enough lang yung size niya dyan. So, hoping for the best for these two propagated babies that we have today. So, while we were waiting for the Mother Jose Bono, we have them here. So, lalagay muna natin sila dito. They will be lined up along with those pots of plants na kasing size lang nila siguro. Almost of the same size. Ano ba ang zili? Alright. Kasi hindi pa siguro siya ready. Mas yung duha. Pero gamay pa rin siya. Ah, okay. Tolo. 
di pa siguro siya ready ngayon guys so those are the only propagations that we will be having today so sa susunod na din to guys abangan nyo and I'd like to thank you for making it till the end of this video it has been Maria the voice of Planzilla Bohol if you haven't subscribed please click the subscribe button pakitap na din po yung bell icon so you'll be notified pag may bago na kaming video thank you so much for watching bye